Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the course Elastostatics. In this short video tutorial we would like to show you how to determine the stresses in a bar that is subjected to a tension force. The bar in our example is acted on by a tension force of 20 Newton. At this point let me address an issue that might be the source of confusion to some people. As you can see I have drawn two force vectors, one on the left side and one on the other side. Don't think that just because I have drawn two force vectors, each one representing a tension force, that the total net force acting on the bar is 20 Newton times 2. And that's because one force represents the reaction force of the other force. So for instance, if you hold the bar on this side and you pull on the bar to the left on this side with the force F of 20 Newton, then the force on the right side is going to be the reaction force that is directed in the opposite direction but that has the same magnitude. So the whole thing is basically Newton's third law, where action is equal reaction. So remember, we just have uh, one force of 20 Newton which is the tension force. And the fact that you see two force vectors, that reflects a circumstance that we have an action force and a reaction force. Okay, if you look at the cross section of the beam, you will notice that the cross section has a circular shape and the diameter of the cross, uh, the diameter of the circle is 10 millimeters. And in the following, we're gonna make a vertical cut for the bar to determine the internal stresses. The stresses of interest are the normal stress sigma and the shear stress tau. The normal stress is computed by dividing the normal force by the cross-sectional area and the shear force can be, can be calculated by dividing the tangential force by the cross-sectional area, sorry, by the cross-sectional area of the profile and the normal force usually acts perpendicular to the cut, to the cutting area, and the tangential force acts parallel to it. So let's make a cut and discuss the issue further. Here is the vertical cut for the bar. Let's check what kind of forces we need to take care of. The normal force, as I said before, acts perpendicularly to the surface of the cut and the tangential force acts parallel to it. In our case, because the tension force only acts horizontally without, without having any vertical components, the tangential force is going to be zero. And if the tangential force is equal to zero, the shear stress is also going to be equal to zero. So at this stage, we can establish that the shear stress tau is equal to zero Newton. That's the tangential force, which is non-existent in our case because the cut is vertical divided by the area, and that is equal to zero. As far as the normal force, to determine that force, we're going to set up the equilibrium condition. And the equilibrium condition dictates that the tension force minus the normal force, because the normal force acts in the opposite direction of the tension force, the tension force minus the normal force is equal to zero because those two forces must cancel each other out in an, equilibrium, in an equilibrium condition. And as your intuition has probably told you already, that means that the tension force is equivalent to the normal force. So that's quite simple. And that whole thing is equal to 20 Newton. And that's already provided here. And with that information, computing the normal stress is going to be quite simple. 
we will use this formula. Sigma is equal to the normal force divided by the area of the cross section. Now, before we can continue calculating the normal stress, let's compute the cross sectional area of the bar. The area of a circle is generally calculated as pi times the radius to the square. And in our case, the radius is simply half of the diameter, meaning that the radius is just 5 millimeters, so pi times 5 millimeters squared is equal to approximately 79 square millimeters. Okay? And N, which is a normal force, that's equal to 20 Newton divided by 79 square millimeters we're going to insert that value right away into the denominator and that is equal to 0 0.25 newton per square millimeter so the normal stress that we have inside the bar is 0 0.25 newton per square millimeter and let me tell you that because the cut is is uh, vertical there is no shear force and no tangential force in the next video we're going to perform a cut at an angle it's to the horizon so it's not going to be vertical anymore it will have an, a specific angle to the horizon that is not perpendicular to the tension force. And in that video, you will see that there will be a shear stress and a tangential force that will be non zero. But for this video, the shear stress is zero and the normal stress is 0 0.25 Newton per square millimeter. If you look at the unit of stress, you will notice some similarity to the unit of pressure, except that. For pressure, they usually use Newton per square meter, and for stress, it's Newton per square millimeter. So just keep in mind this small difference, but in general, the dimension of the unit for stress and pressure is identical. Okay, as I said, in the next video, we're gonna see what happens if we're gonna make a cut at an angle to the horizon and perform the calculation of the normal stress and the shear stress again. See you then.